What's up guys, Axis here bringing you the fourth episode of my tips and tricks series and today I'm going to be showing you some really awesome camera tips um, in Cinema 4D um, Basically these are all the um, camera kind of uh, movements and stuff that I use in all my intros um, So first I'm going to be showing you how to do a target camera which is a really awesome effect and it allows you to track a logo um, uh, with uh, the camera tool and it's really easy to do as well so just grab your logo um, I'm just going to do a simple logo setup put an extrude nerbs, copy it over to a new um, window make sure it's centered so then to your position and change everything to zero I'm going to scale it down and also make sure that um, the axis is in the correct position so to do that click this enable axis modification go into your front, pr front perspective and as you can see this is already centered because it's a really um, uh, well done um, pen tool so as you can see I have it's already centered but basically what you can do is you can move this about and wherever it is that's where it's going to rotate, scale and um, whatever so once that's done just click enable uh, access modification again to get rid of it and once you have that you're going to want to um, I'm just going to create make this logo a bit thicker so you can see it going to create a camera going to go into the perspective mode and then I'm going to right click, go to Cinema 4D Tags and Target. And inside this Target tag, um, there's there's the target object in the up vector. I'm going to click on this little cursor here. And I'm going to select my extrude nerves. And as you can see, if you click on the target, it's there, the extrude nerves there. And just to show that it's there, change this to logo, go back in there, and it's change the logo so yeah basically what happens now is when you click on the camera and rotate you're always facing the logo it's never gonna go off it so if I try and go into coordinates and uh, change the rotation it's not gonna work you can obviously change the Y and the Z because it's not actually um, changing the like rotation away from the object so basically I'm just going to do a simple camera movement to show you how this works so I'm going to center this first this is where I want my hammer to end up looking at I'm going to adjust this to 5 seconds and um, bring it out a bit and I'm going to go to 5 seconds keyframe it using the keyframe button make sure your camera selected at this point go to the beginning of your um, project and then I'm going to go and rotate this behind it Make sure you keyframe it again. And now, if I play through that, if I scroll through that, it's going to do a really nice camera movement, always facing it like that. You could adjust it down here, keyframe it, and it will do a really nice camera movement in front of it. So the I'm just going to delete this camera here, so I can show you the next kind of camera movement so this is um, if you want to have multiple shots which um, in one intro so for example if I'm here like facing up here and I want to move to like over here or something um, that's basically what I'm going to be showing you so first off I'm going to go over into my first position which is going to be here and then I'm going to go to the start of my composition make sure the camera selected and click the keyframe and I'm going to go to three seconds and move this slightly further back don't don't make it a big camera movement if you want it to look really cool and um, also what you can do is you can go into your coordinates on the camera and change the Z rotation which is really nice as well Make sure you keyframe that. 
And as you can see, it's a really nice movement. I obviously have a really nice texture here and a nice Lightroom. This will look amazing. And then to switch to the next camera, if you just go to the next keyframe, and um, for example, I'm just going to go out like this, put this to zero, and keyframe it. You can do this, and then I'll put another keyframe like it's going to kind of zoom out. You can see that this animation gets completely screwed up because it's trying to it's trying to kind of make a smooth movement from this keyframe, which is all the way over here, to this one, and it just goes all weird, and it goes like away from the logo and stuff. So I'm just going to undo that. You don't want to do that. You go to the next keyframe, keyframe it without making any movements on your camera. Go to the next keyframe after that, and then you can go to your position. So I'll just go here. If you can make sure it looks really nice. Um, keyframe it. Go to the next frame after that. Keyframe it. And that will make sure that it's completely locked into that position, and it's not going to mess up. And now you can add your animation. And this should look fine. There'll just be a tiny pause of about two frames which you can easily cut out in After Effects or whatever editing software you're using. Um, so yeah, I really had problems with the cameras when I first started doing intros because of that. So hopefully I've just saved you a ton of time. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I really hope this helped you out because um, I wish I had known this when I would started doing camera movements and intros in Cinema 4D. So um, yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed, um, suggest some new tutorials in the description, uh, the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.